Chaotic morning for millions of people across the country and around the world after a single software glitch shut down computer systems around the globe. Nearly every industry was impacted. It hit airports hard, including Tampa International. And tonight the bug is fixed, but some services are still struggling to recover. Fox 13's Evan Moon joins us now. And Evan, really, the impact went beyond just flights, right? Hi, Ali. Yeah, it's being labeled the largest IT outage in history. 25% of all companies use this cybersecurity uh, software. And some workers in the medical field and the federal government are telling me that it caused panic this morning when computers shut down. Airports, hospitals, banks, and even restaurants were all brought down this morning when CrowdStrike, a virus protection software company, pushed out a faulty update. Woke up to a billion texts uh, from family, from friends, you know, friends saying, hey, I'm stuck at the airport. My mom's calling me to help her fix her computer issues, getting a ton of texts from coworkers. Millions of workers whose companies use the software were locked out of their computers for most of the day. Federal government employees had their hands tied. If you have a Microsoft computer, you're not getting into your laptop this morning. First time ever. I've had obviously outages very common in IT, but having global outages, waking up to texts from colleagues, friends in the space, never. Cybersecurity expert Peter Tran explained CrowdStrike and its global reach. CrowdStrike is a security software that sits on computers and servers. So it sits there as a gatekeeper for security to monitor for potential malicious activity. So they have about 25% market share. And so if you think about that, that's a quarter of all the world's endpoints on Microsoft platforms, that's a lot. You're talking about millions of endpoints and potentially the supply chains impacted. The outage caused pandemonium nationwide, and he says it could take days for airlines, hospitals, and all those affected to catch up. Thankfully, for most, it was just a few hours away from their laptop. If you're working at in any sort of IT space, you are uh, nose to the ground trying to make sure your systems are up and running. So pretty, pretty chaotic. If you have a friend that works in IT, you might want to uh, hand him a beer for all the chaos that they've had. It's kind of scary, really, to know and just like that, the whole world could stop. The banks, the the rent of cars, airplanes. Now I'm going to read a statement that CrowdStrike just released following all this activity today, say they, saying they are actively working with customers impacted. This was not a cyber attack. And they, quote, understand the gravity of the situation and are deeply sorry for the inconvenience and disruption. Again, hopefully for most people, it just meant that they couldn't access their laptop for a few hours. But for some, it's going to be a few days until these impact, impacts are relieved.